Well, hello there, YouTube. It's your buddy Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you are looking at a lunar orbiter picture. Um, lunar orbiter was a great mission that was sent out. That and Clementine, some great pictures came back from that. Uh, but you can find this online. This one's an oldie but a goodie. Like I said, I'm going through all the known anomalies out there that I've seen, I've uh, I've encountered. I downloaded. If you go to my website, um, you can see a lot of these pictures. If you go to photos of Moon or photos of Mars, you can see a lot of these there, and you can search yourself for uh, a lot of these. But we're going to take you right to them and show you some of. There's an anomaly. This thing up here looks like a dome inside of there, but not even going to there. Here's we're, we're going to focus our attention on two things down here. Uh, maybe, well, three things really. What we're going to focus our attention on. Well, it looks to be some sort of moon mining operation possibly going on um, with some machinery on the edge of these what seem to be craters. But we're looking right here at this perfectly square building, and we're looking at a fairly big, uh, fairly big area here. So these these are pretty big. We're going to go check out the. Uh, so you're looking at this building right here. This structure here whatever this is that goes up into the air and also this here which uh, we're gonna lighten it up and darken it up and see what we can come up with I haven't done it but all this seems to be spotchy like some of this has been covered up a lot of these old pictures were actually airbrushed with real airbrushes uh, so we're gonna see if we can pull point this out this looks to be like an anomaly some sort of uh, that has tracks coming away from it and uh, it seems to be a perfect uh, a perfect shadow on it. it seems to be a bullet looking look to it you see that you know what I mean it's pretty interesting and it seems to have something here in the middle that's either cuts into it or it's above it in the air I, you know it's hard to see you can't really see a shadow for that little piece but uh, let's go ahead and let me show you where I got it then we're gonna come back and see if we can't play with the brightness and stuff and uh, also look at a couple of other of these uh, there's a couple other anomalies just that that piece right here um, as we come down through here, there's also some interesting stuff in down in here. Um, just symmetrical things that will pull out, like over here. There's some up here. Um, and then if you come down around the corner and see how these this, these blocks look shaped. Um, if you come down around the corner, there's also some stuff down here. See these right here. Um, and also saw a couple things on there. So there's more than two in it. But like I said, these are older photographs, so they're a little bit more blurry. Make sure you got an HD. Always watch my videos in HD if you're not. Um, let's go ahead and I'll show you where I got it from. And this whole this whole picture has got a lot of anomalies. If you go online and you search this just this LO385 MD, you're gonna find a whole bunch of them. But right now, you're gonna just look under in the, the description box. I always link the links. If you go to my 170 videos or 180 videos out there you're gonna get links so, so let's check it out you download it there get the tiff file it's gonna bring it up you can actually watch it and view it here if you don't have an editor this is actually pretty neat how this whole website is actually really neat um, if you're into looking at the pictures and stuff like that um, since I'm doing the recording right now my my iMac's running a little bit slow but uh, so let's go back and let's see if we can't take a look at that building real fast and maybe uh, pull out some details in a couple of these um, and maybe spin that around a little bit a lot of times they change the angles yeah, and even down here too there's some interesting uh, interesting connections see this here how they've got it here and there I wonder how big this looks when I actually do it so well let me see if I can change let's see if they get anything better out of these up here first because these were the interesting ones to me these buildings look like the side of a crate like basically moon operations on the side working on something um, this actually looks kind of like a crazy drilling rig but um, somehow I'm thinking this has got to be some sort of shadow figure I've seen this done enhanced really well before so I'm gonna see what we can do with it um, let's take this whole area here and see there we are gotta get my tools back alright okay so just take this area right here and then we're gonna go uh... let me see if... oh I actually gotta... Hmm. alright cropped it file save as... I wonder if I'm gonna have to do that for it I could at least do it because it's black and white. I don't get as as many things. So that's just a auto right away. Okay, here we go. Now let me pull up the brightness and the contrast. See if we can't play with it a little bit. If I bring the brightness down a little bit, sometimes that helps bring out the 
the style and the look to it, but let's look around in this area. Hmm. It is awfully bright. Everything on the moon, they do seem to uh, wash it out. Look how much better you can see it when it's you know not washed out. Let's look at the brightness that's originally there. All right, so let's pull that up in the contrast way up. And you still get much better detail now. Here you can see what seems to be some sort of machinery or something over there that's taken place. This is interesting. And it look how the, uh, see how the crater wall comes around here? And you can see the crater wall. And it's kind of split here, and it's split in this backside. Now we can't see it over here because of the uh, shadow. But it definitely looks like that's something in the air. Um, you can almost see a base to it and a shadow. Um, let me see something real quick. Let's do this together. I'm not going to try and make this too long, but uh, let's see. Ah, it's got to be a PSD. I was going to make a layer real quick and put some color on it, but I don't think we need to do that. I think that's all right. Um, and what seems to be rectangular type structures here, um, it has a nice shadow. I, I can't make that. I mean, I'm not sure why that would make out like that, that shadow, but uh, a very interesting photo. When you've got this tracked down, see how this comes around right to this area check these out it looks like tracks that run to it and then there's these dark areas um, let's see if we can get a scale on this picture real fast because that, that would be nice to know at least images altitude correct resolution in meters longitude latitude okay so if I can do this so I'm thinking so okay so we are at 11 meters correct resolution that'd be per dot so how big is that going to be? It's 12 meters per dot. So if you know what basically one of these dots look like. Here, let me put it at 100%. We'll do this. We'll, we'll figure this out here. We're not going to figure it out exactly because we're not going to be able to figure it out exactly. But let's see what we can do here. Okay, so if one dot in that is going to be one meter. So these are fairly big. So we're talking probably half mile machines here. Whatever this is, whatever is going on down there. Oh got this going on see here's my website see where they've got I've got these linked on there so if you want to come play and go find them yourself all the names are under you just search Google for them um, anyway let's see oops real professional today well thank you guys for new subscribers one of my videos is taking off today so I'm getting a bunch of new subscribers in you guys rock if you got made it this far a lot of new subscribers probably won't I do a lot of these images with people where I just sit here and like I said I invite you into my room or into my house wherever I am the condo at the beach and uh, we go over these pictures and you know, that's what we do I love doing it uh, these NASA pictures have always been a hobby of mine and I got a whole bunch of them so much love guys I'm gonna leave you with that I mean except for you know what let me take one little quick look at something else I wanted to see that uh, the other what looked like that dome up at the top that seemed pretty cool I was gonna let you guys go real fast but you know if you guys hang around and want to watch let's do it all right I still can't believe I've just just rolled over 4,000 subscribers and all those two point, almost 2.3 million. Uh, look, I'm glad I stuck around. Look at this right here, another so, sort of structure, whatever that is. Let's see if we can uh, pop that out. See, look, I stayed around and look, we find some more stuff. That's what's great about these pictures. It's like I do this on. I used to go on Google Earth a lot and uh, would look at stuff and and recognize, you know. So I know what stuff looks like from the air. So a lot of times I get people to come and they're like, "Oh well, uh, you know, that's just uh, so and so and so." You know, you could just go anywhere on Google Earth and find it. And a lot of times, like that's not the truth. You know, or, or I try and make stuff look like Mars sometimes. Um, I got pictures I do. So all right, back to this. Let's check this thing out. This long cylindrical deal. Let me see if we can't get an auto contrast, auto tone. Very interesting. It seems to be raised in the air and have things coming up. Let's see. I'll make it big. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Back that on up. All right. And then this right here, this this is just cool to me. It's kind of perfect in there. Um, 
And it's just interesting how the shadow just comes around it too. It, it, everything here almost looks manipulated to me. Let's see if this even brightens up a little bit. What if I took the exposure all the way up? I've got to crop it each time. No, it's if you don't get anything out of it. Look, there's not much artifact or anything in there. It's interesting over here on the sides of it how they they look kind of kind of different, but yeah, there's not much else in that. So, and the other other area I was looking at early there down here at the bottom, the other area I wanted to look at was, and I didn't really look at the top of this picture much. Um, the photography is just amazing from the Lunar Orbiter. Oh, we got more interesting stuff here. Look at this. Almost looks like a square, uh, perfect building there. Not a building, but actual, like, complex. Check that out. That's very interesting. Let's see if we can't get that one. Image. What are we at here for time? Already 11 minutes in. I knew we were getting deep into this thing. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Who's still here? Ooh. What do you think? See that? It's even got a big circle dome or something in it there. That looks almost evenly spaced and it comes back here and it kind of juts across. And it uh, looks like there's more buildings in the back. Let's see if I can make that bigger for you guys. If you can see that. Here's the wall part to it. And it just kind of comes back around. It looks like the circle's here. So if you step back, you might be able to... Sometimes it's better to see these in the small window. So play with it. If you're looking at it on your phone, so, you know, sometimes that's, that's tough too, but... Anyway, guys, I think that's about it for me. I'm going to let you go. 11 minutes is long. If you guys hung out this, this is awesome. You guys rock. I love you. One more little section right here. Might as well brighten it up before I leave. Come on. And then I'm out of here for real. All right. And so I've already put a couple of videos out today. I think I'm going to relax the rest of the night. All right. Here we go. All right. Image. Auto tone. Or contrast. Now let's brighten this thing back up, see what we got. Turn around that way. Not too much there. Uh, just this, this weird thing to me is interesting, how it's kind of circle here and it's very dark under it. Uh, well, not, not too much anomalous. Anyway, guys, much love. Take it easy. Enjoy your night day whatever you're watching this peace what's up in the sky 37 hit comment hit like let me know what you think did you see anything else in here peace